I would argue that uh, the market is essentially getting what it was hoping to get uh, out of the Federal Reserve, which is hearing that this, this, we're, no, we're no longer on this predetermined path towards hiking rates, uh, and it truly is data dependent. Um, I think so long as the U.S. economy continues to move a little bit higher, you know, we, we can't uh, ignore the, the possibility uh, of another rate hike, but, but certainly markets have discounted that considerably uh, over the past week or so. I don't know whether the words were exactly this, but the extent and timing is less clear, Barry James. Uh, so that would suggest that there is wiggle room in, uh, in the Fed's future uh, here. Let me ask you a direct question. With the, with the Dow, the NASDAQ up even more, uh, S&P, Russell, all up 10% or greater since December 24th. Can you, will you confident, do you feel confident in saying the bottom of that correction may be in? I would say I'm confident on some stocks, not all stocks. Uh, you know, we look at last year, and there's that movie out, the, uh, the terrible, horrible, uh, very bad, no good day, month, year, quarter. That was last year if you took a logical, historical approach to valuations and, and managing portfolios. That's all changing today, this year. And so I think that if you go back to value and back to basics, it's going to be a very good year. And if the Fed does hold uh, and doesn't have any more hikes, generally the market goes up the year after, almost always goes up the year after. So there's some good things there, but I think some of those overblown expensive stocks will probably just remain in a volatile area for quite some time. But that's not what we've seen in terms of this year. I mean, Joe, when you take a look at the top leadership uh, of this rally that Tyler had mentioned from the December lows, we're led higher by the same stocks that probably led us lower. Um, it doesn't look like the character of the market has changed that much, even though we have prognosticator after prognosticator come on saying it's time for value at this point. Yeah, you know, I think generally speaking, you, know, you can look. I'm sorry, Joe, go ahead. Joe, go, go ahead, Joe. I think, generally speaking, you can look back at, at how the market behaved in December, and, and perhaps you can reach the conclusion uh, that some of this was, in fact, technical. Some of this was perhaps a, a little bit oversold, especially considering the underlying strength in the overall economy. So I'm not so surprised that you would see the same companies or the same stocks that led markets lower in December really leading uh, this charge back up uh, in January, at least in the first couple weeks in January. At the end of the day, we still have an economy which is expanding. We still have earnings which are continuing to grow, granted at a much slower pace than what we saw last year. But overall, these things, I think, are supportive to equity markets. Now, it's important that we keep that in perspective uh, and weigh it against all of the outstanding risks out there, but it's not necessarily all doom and gloom.